Right then, so you now know all the parts of the guitar, okay? So I'm hoping you've memorized those parts so you know what we're talking about. Um, the next thing you need to know is obviously what the guitar's tuned to um, and how to do that, okay? So we'll start off and we'll learn the open string notes. That's so important and it's something you need to spend time to learn, okay? So don't rush these stages, just take your time, learn it properly, and you'll be a much better guitarist in the long run, I promise you, okay? So open string names, right? So we're gonna start at the low string here, the lowest being the thickest string and it has the lowest sound and the highest being the thinnest string and the highest sound, okay, the highest pitch. Um, we're gonna start down here. There's a couple of ways of looking at this. There's two ways of looking at this. You can be a number system where it goes six, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you may start to see that as we move on to tablature and we start looking at that in a later lesson, you'll see a number system on the side. So that tells you like string one, string two, string three, etc., etc. Or we see this as notes, okay? And this is what we need to see it as to tune. Um, and on the lowest string here, we've got an E string here. So we got E, A, D, G, B, E. Okay, so we've got two E strings on the guitar, one low and one high, but both tuned to exactly the same pitch. Um, to remember that, okay, because you've probably already just forgotten what I just said, so it's E, A, D, G, B, E. And to remember that, you're gonna need a, a little rhyme to help you remember that. So the rhyme I use, there's two that you can use. The one that I find quite funny is Eddie ate dynamite, good by Eddie. Okay, so that's Eddie ate dynamite, good by Eddie. You take the first letter of each of those words, so Eddie, E, eight, A, dynamite, D, you get the idea. You take the first letter of each of those words and that's the string name, starting from the lowest string to the highest string. The other one I like as well is elephants and dogs grow big ears. Okay, so elephants and dogs grow big ears. So whichever one you like of those will work fine, but you just need to remember, remember one of them. So Eddie ate dynamite good by Eddie, or elephants and dogs grow big ears. Okay, so that's your first thing to remember. Um, the next thing we wanna do then, because you just probably just got your guitar straight out of the box, you're ready to go, you're sat in front of the video, ready to play, okay? It's so important, and every time you need to do this when you pick your guitar up, is to make sure it's in tune, okay? It's gonna make sure that everything you're learning, everything you play sounds good, um, and you're not sitting there thinking, why does that not sound right? It's because probably because the guitar's not in tune. A guitar straight out of a box, straight from a shop, you know, nine times out of 10, is not gonna be in tune. It's gonna need some sort of tweaking on tuning. Um, and sometimes, if it's traveled, you know, it's traveled to get to you, it's, it's been on a plane or something, or a ship, uh, a courier, a shipping sort of thing to get to you, then it will be tuned down as well to stop the neck sort of breaking and things like that. So it may be, you may get your guitar and the strings are really sort of, you know, sort of slack and, and, and hanging away from the guitar. So you do need to tune it up to get it into the right pitch. So there are three methods to tune the guitar and I'm gonna show you one because you're, as I said, you're starting out and you're a beginner, you wanna use the most reliable method and the most reliable method is using a clip-on tuner or a tuner of some sort that you can get either from an app, so you can download a free app um, which will give you a free you know, tuner or a clip-on tuner. So if you haven't got a tuner when you left the shop they didn't give you one, um, you know, order one on Amazon but crack on with this video and download a quick free app onto your iPad or onto your phone, uh, whatever you've got if you've got an Android device. But if you've got a clip-on tuner, good for you, that's what we're gonna to use today to get your guitar in tune, okay. So to get this in tune, this guitar is already in tune, okay? So I'm just gonna mess about with it a minute and just take a few of these out of tune, okay? Just so I can tune it back up and it will be more like what yours is like when it comes out of the box. So the first one, if you remember, this high E string, which we call number one, is, is as I said, it's the high E. So we're looking for an E to come up on my, um, on my dial on here. You normally get on your tuner, you'll get like a needle um, on, on the tuner. Um, and you can see, like, it's you're aiming for the middle, okay? Some tuners will give you a green light when you're in the middle. Um, some will be like a red light when it's not quite in tune. But you're aiming to get it to the middle, all right? So if you're tuning your tuning peg on here, you're tuning machine heads, and you're turning that, and it's getting further away from the middle, you're turning it the wrong way, okay? So we're always aiming to get it in the middle. And we're looking for the note to come up on screen. So like an E, an A, a D, a G, a B, an E. We're looking for that to come on screen. So the first one. We're looking for, excuse me, we're looking for E, and it's coming up E flat, okay? So we need to go, we're too flat, so E flat is before E, okay? So we're trying to get up to E. So I'm gonna pick that, and I'm gonna, I need to turn that and tighten the string. So I keep turning it. Great, okay, and it's just flashed on screen, this, this boss tuner, there's like a little flashing thing that tells you that it's spot on, it's in tune, okay? 
So that's my E string in tune. The next one, we're gonna go to the B, which is the next one down. Okay, I didn't move that one very much. That one's pretty good, it's in tune. The G, G is too, is too sharp, so it needs to come down now. So I'm just turning it too much. And don't turn it too much, okay? Don't be scared of the peg, okay? So don't be sort of scared of turning it and thinking, oh, it's gonna snap. Um, you will do that at some point. Every every beginner guitar does it. I did it a million times when I started out. Um, and it's not a very nice experience, but you just gotta get through it. It's, um, you know, you will snap a string at some point. Um, okay, the D's out. So the D says C sharp, okay? So it's C sharp, so it needs to move up to D. Okay, so I need to move that up and tighten the string again. Coming up to D now. Great, and it's flashed in the middle. You might get a green light that comes on when you're in D, and you're looking, make sure D is on the screen somewhere visible, um, and that you've got it in the middle. Okay, that one's in G sharp, so it needs to come up again. Okay, now I'm in A, and that one I didn't do much moving to, so it to come up a little bit. There you go, we're in E. All right, with that, now the guitar is in tune, okay? So with that, that's that's the first starting point you wanna do, make sure that your guitar is in tune. Um, as I said, there's two other methods that you can tune the guitar with, but we'll forget about them for today because we wanna be the most accurate method. And as a beginner, I don't find them the most accurate method because you need um, you know, a bit more uh, sort of knowledge and skill to be able to do those methods, and I, I don't think it's the best way to tune your guitar. Um, so grab yourself a clip-on tuner, get your guitar in tune, remember that rhyme, E-A-D-G-B-E, Elephants and Dogs Grow Big Ears, or Eddie Ate Dynamite Goodbye Eddie, whichever one you like, or make up your own if you like as well, you can make up your own funny one, um, you know, the ruder the better, um, but make up your own funny ones, um, and then remember that's E-A-D-G-B-E, -E. that is really important at this stage, once you know that, then you can then get cracking on and learning some songs. I'll see you in the next video, guys.